So another usability thing that we often don't think about is about what happens if somebody goes to a page on your site and actually can't find it in that. So right now in SharePoint by default this is going to give you some kind of unknown error. It's not going to really give you any feedback and it's really not a good thing. So one of the things that you want to consider not only in a SharePoint world but in the web world is the potential that if you're running this more as uh, an internet site, an intranet site or whatever it is, maybe about actually overriding what's called the 404 message. And the 404 message is the message that basically we get when we uh, arrive at some place on a site that actually doesn't exist or a page can't be opened or something like that. And so just giving you a really simple example here of what this looks like on Amazon.com, you'll see that instead of giving some kind of error message, it actually just gives a very simple, we're sorry, the web address you entered is not a functioning page. Go to the Amazon.com homepage. I've seen a lot of other variations of this, but overall, if you have this where most of your users are going to be kind of more readers, more looking at things, and not really a real collaborative system, you may want to think about overriding that 404 for message you can do that very easily through the web.config file and actually create your own page so that if people run into these that they actually get something better than just air not found